Jug, Mike, I want to get an attorney. What's the first thing that I need to look for? Or the first thing that's that I need to make sure that it's in place before I get an attorney. And um, I would say the first thing probably would be the cost, <laughs> right? Can can you afford, you know, this particular attorney? They vary in terms of price. Some people charge per the hour. Some people charge per the deal, mm -hmm. right? The question is, which one makes more sense for you? Um, it just kind of depends. We like to kind of move toward the hourly situation because at least that puts a cap on certain things. Right. Um, if you if you're going to for the deal situation, that that basically turns the attorney into your partner. Right. And it also it makes them want to in some instances want to rush the deal closing. Yeah. You know, that attorney may be closing on a house. That attorney may have some things that he's trying to do. And he knows that if he close on this deal, he's going to get a certain percentage. So it's going to be in his own interest to hurry up and close that deal however he can very quickly. So that may or may not be the best situation for you. And no, and no knock on the attorneys. Like we just, we're, we're just giving you our experience in, in dealing with the situation. And we want artists, producers, uh, musicians and stuff to really be clear. Like this is a, you're really on an island by yourself if if you really want to be 100% honest with the situation. And you have to be aware of what's going on from that situation. So the first thing we would say, we said it's going to be cost. That's typically going to be the situation. Are we dealing with an hourly attorney? Are we dealing with an attorney by the, by the deal? That depends on what you can afford. So that's the first thing. The mm -hmm. second thing you want to make sure that this attorney is somewhat connected. And when we say somewhat connected, meaning attorneys typically have relationships throughout the industry. Right. If if the relationships are not there for a certain attorneys or if attorneys are not respected, your deals don't get closed fast. Right. Your deals take forever because they don't get back to them. There's no mm -hmm. relationship. And then the negotiation sometimes can be a little bit more hard nosed if you have an attorney that's outside of the network or outside of the loop, or if they have an attorney that's never dealt with these set of attorneys before, so they don't know their style, they don't know how to communicate, right. don't know how to get caught up with them. So what we've learned over our 20 years in this situation is that the attorneys that are connected, you take that as you will, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? The mm -hmm. attorneys that are connected in the network by however they're connected, typically those deals go through smoother, right? Because right. they all have relationships and then they're able to kind of you know, it's, kind, it's kind of refreshing when when you uh you get a, a new deal situation and and your attorney's like, oh yeah, I know so and so, I, right. yeah, that's yeah, we could we could make this happen. You right. know, it's 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 very soothing when, um, you know, they know people at the table and have prior relationships. Um, and 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 sometimes that that could be that that could you know be bad too. Let's not you know, if a prior deal didn't go well. Um, and then you're faced with a, you get the opportunity for a new deal and you got to go through the same people. Your attorney may be like, I've dealt with that guy before. And, uh, and then he may, you know, he, this, right. this. and, you know, it's kind of unfair to you because, you know, maybe that person's not going to deal with you that way because you're a whole different situation. So the attorney would have to be an attorney that can put away, uh, past, uh, bad experiences and, and be able to start with you fresh on a new uh, experience. And that's something that you would have to kind of just keep your eye on. Um, when you choose, when you finally do choose an attorney, you know, you don't have to stick to that attorney if things start to, you know, you know, you start noticing things. Feel free to like, you know, let me move around. Let me, let me see this someone else, you know. It took us a while for us to even get to uh, uh, an attorney that we uh, decided to, to use. You know, we, we jumped from one and didn't like the way certain things were going, jumped to another. You know, we, we tested a few out before we, you know, we finally settled. So it may take some time. Yeah, it, in the beginning, it was rough. Um, it was rough finding an attorney in the beginning. And how did we come across that attorney? It was really a referral. Right? It, it, you know, there wasn't a quote-unquote database or anything like that that we could really get into. A lot of attorneys work off of referrals. That's mm -hmm. probably the best thing is to have a referral to an attorney. Uh, we refer our attorney to a, a gang of people, 
uh, a lot of times. Um, it just it works off referrals to me. That's the best way to know. Um, the, the best way to get a good attorney is basically ask some questions, ask some folks who've had some deals in the past, and yeah. get a referral. Um, go online and yeah, and, and do some Google searches. You know, there's a ton of attorneys, the websites. You check them out. Um, and you know, you make a list for yourself. And you definitely want to check their resume. You want to mm-hmm. see who their past clients are. Uh, who their who their current clients are, right? That that's that plays a big part of it. Are the clients all you know really old clients, or are the clients really like kind of current? Uh, it just kind of gives you an idea of who your attorney is connected with. Because remember, what happens is that a, a connected attorney can always be get more work for you as a producer or a you know, a songwriter, so forth and so on. Like in our case. We had a our our attorney was you know the same as uh, uh, Gillian Wallow and those guys for a little while. Um, mm-hmm. It was the same as as P and B Rock and these people and like and anytime something significant happened or he got somebody that needed to connect with us, he would put us together, right? Or right. he would try to put it together. So right. it, it's a situation where when you when you're looking at when you have an attorney again, like I said before, you kind of want to look for them having a, a good network. Um, not just with other attorneys, but also with other artists, um, executives. Uh, you know, these things can help to get you the deals, the publishing deals, and the production deals, and the stuff like that. That if you're doing the work on the side, and then you start to elevate in terms of your notoriety, your attorney can just start making really can make calls for you really quick and can shop things around and make things move a lot faster if you have a good attorney in that fashion. But but let me add though, because um, I do have to say this though. Um, when you look at their resume, it has to be real credits. And uh, what I mean by that is um, there are a lot of uh, attorneys that may have did a one-off deal or one-off situation, read over a contract, and that's it. And that, that person is no longer their client. They just did a one thing. And they'll add them as as a, a on their list as people they worked with. So you have a whole long list, and you look at it and say, wow, this guy worked with a lot of people. But it doesn't mean those were consistent relationships. So, you know, when you see those attorneys, you know, you know, question them, talk to them, you know, find out, you know, the, their relationships with all of these these clients, you know, were those things consistent? Was it one off? Do they still have relationships? You know, um, how would it be to utilize those relationships? And you know, because, you know, your attorney is going to also be an extension of your network. So you want to make sure that who you're connecting with um, is going to amplify, you know, what you have. It's, it's like it's like what you have and what the attorney has. Y'all put it together, and you know, be able to 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 make some things happen, you know. But you just have to just be mindful of the kind of attorney. Um, there are attorneys that are not the kind of attorneys that are get up and go attorneys. Um, there are attorneys who kind of just sit around and wait for uh, something to come across the table. Similar to some managers, we'll get to that. Oh man, this 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 is really a loaded topic because the 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 general connotation is that you know the attorney will save you from everything, and that is that is just not really honest. 